Hello, Screamer, and welcome to Scream Stream, your weekly spoiler-free guide to streaming horror entertainment. My name is James Gass. If you're new to the show, what I do is review a horror movie from one of the various streaming services, spoiler-free. Scream Stream is available wherever podcasts are served, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many more. I happen to use Pocket Cast because I'm on an Android, and it's a really good app. So if you're if you're on Android, you need a, a good podcast app. Pocket Cast is pretty good. I think it's like five bucks. But anyway, <laughs> you can find me in all those places. Uh, before I get into the show, I do want to announce something very exciting. Uh, if you want to support the show but don't want to do the whole Patreon thing, uh, I now have a storefront on T Public. That is T E E P U B L I C dot com slash stores slash scream dash stream. Uh, I'll have a link to that in the show notes. Also, uh, if you follow me on the Facebook page, uh, I've posted a link there as well. Uh, but yeah, I have a storefront there now where I am. Currently curating uh, horror designs from independent artists. Um, and they sell t-shirts and hoodies and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I actually already own several shirts from Tee Public, and they are really good quality. They've held up pretty well. I've had I've had uh, uh, my Massacre Machine shirt for like a year now. Uh, it's done really well. And I also have one with... Um, uh, Yandu in the whole Mary Poppins thing. I have one of those shirts. My wife has a Shira shirt, uh, really good quality shirts. And I'm curating shirts from, from independent artists. And then I will also have two of my own shirts up there. So I'll have the, uh, scream stream logo with the, uh, zombie hand coming up out of the ground and the tombstone with scream stream. And then I'll also have just the text scream stream going across the front of the shirt. Uh, so if you want to support me and don't want to do the Patreon thing, uh, get a t-shirt and I get like a tiny commission off, off, uh, anything you purchase. Um, and it's like, it's a small commission, but every little bit helps. Uh, and I would greatly appreciate it. So head over to, uh, tpublic.com slash stores slash scream dash stream. All right. So let's get into this week's review. Uh, this week I'm reviewing Cargo, which was suggested by Mervyn Stevenson over on the ScreamStream Facebook page. Um, if you're not, if you don't like the page, head over there to uh, facebook.com slash ScreamPod, uh, like the page. And I try to post over there quite, a, quite a bit, or, or at least more than I do Twitter. Uh, so head over there, like the page. But yeah, this was suggested by Mervyn Stevenson and it was in my queue since its release. I watched the trailer. It looked really interesting. And this uh, currently has a 6.4 on IMDb. This was directed by Ben Howling and Yolanda Ramke and was written by Yolanda Ramke. Stars Martin Freeman, Anthony Hayes, and Susie Porter. And uh, Martin Freeman, he was Watson in the Sherlock Holmes series with uh, Be uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Which was another really good show. I love that show, and I think they're bringing it back too. But yeah, he was Watson in that show. Really good actor. And speaking of acting, uh, everybody did a good job in this film. Uh, everyone down to the supporting cast. For example, Simone Landers, who played uh, Toomey. Uh, yeah, just a really good cast. Uh, characters. I like the characters. I like the development. Uh, and so let me, let me get into this. I started watching this and, uh, my wife was watching it with me <laughs> and within the first 10 minutes, she was mad and decided she didn't want to watch it. And this isn't really spoiler cause it's in the trailer, but like within the first 10 minutes, uh, they find they're, they're heading down a river. It's in a post-apocalyptic zombie outbreak, Australia, and they're heading down a river and they see another boat that's been stranded. And uh, Martin Freeman, who plays Andy, uh, heads over to the boat, takes a look, and he grabs like some wine and some food because they're running low on food. Uh, and they have to feed their baby. So he goes and gets supplies that they need, takes them back. Uh, he tells his wife, and she asks, well, is it, well, was it dangerous over there? He's like, no, no, it's not dangerous. It's fine. Well, he takes a nap and she, geez, she goes to the boat by herself and gets bit by a zombie. 
and apparently they they have like these zombie outbreak kits that you just kind of find wherever and it tells you you know you have 48 hours before the or for the the virus to fully take effect and you die and then you become a zombie and they have like this metal pin thing that you can puncture your own temple with and kill yourself before you turn and and all kinds of stuff so he puts the band on her she has 48 hours they get to land and they're going to look for for this base where maybe they could help her maybe cure uh, but they got to get their baby to to safety so they're driving the car she turns they have well they have an accident she dies turns bites him now he has 48 hours to find a safe place for his baby to go and uh, and that that is the movie that is him trying to find sanctuary for for his kid and like in the first 10 minutes like my wife was mad she's like i'm done with this movie <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm mad so uh it's a really sad film it it is uh like right from the get-go it, it's sad and during the course of the film he meets other characters along his journey and they are like the supporting cast and i can't really tell you much more after that because i don't want to spoil anything for you uh, I will say the movie is really good. I was concerned it was going to be super slow and just a little dull, kind of like the other zombie movie. I forgot what it was called. Oh, it stains the sand red where the zombie was just following this girl through the desert. And that was, a, I don't want to say horrible, but I tried to watch it. It was just way too boring. I thought it was going to be kind of like that. It wasn't though. It was nicely paced. Uh, it didn't get dull. It didn't slow down. It just had a nice steady pace to it. I didn't expect it to be like super action packed, but uh, I I was hoping that it wasn't going to be slow either. And it wasn't, it was, it was good. It had an an interesting story to it. Uh, Just, you know, you're this guy in a predicament. What do you do when everything falls apart and you, you have to find a place for your kid? What do you do? Uh, what links do you go to to save your child? Uh, really interesting character study. There's not a whole lot of zombie action, so don't expect that. Uh, and that's okay. There was enough to to keep me interested. It was, you know what it's like? It's kind of like what The Walking Dead should be. The Walking Dead, for me, there was not enough zombie action. There's not enough. It was too much talking, too many feelings. <laughs> In this, there's a nice balance between character development and zombies. <laughs> it's just that perfect marriage. Uh, and it just had a nice balance of that. So I didn't get bored. Uh, and I, I watched it all the way through. It was sad, man. I, I will admit that. It is a sad movie. And it sometimes at some points, it's hard to watch. Because uh, it just kind of pulls at you a little bit. But yeah, totally worth it worth watching. Uh, I can't believe this only has a 6.4 on IMDb. That seems super low to me. Now this is also based off of a seven minute short from 2013. I just realized this, uh, written and directed by the same folks, Ben Howling and Yolanda Ramke. Uh, I would love to see this short, uh, the original, uh, that actually has a 7.8, uh, but the film has a 6.4. I think it should be a lot higher. I would actually give this movie a four and a half uh, out of five. I really liked it. And I think you, if you haven't watched it yet, you really should. Uh, Cause you probably have Netflix and this is one that you need to watch. Um, so yeah, cargo four and a half. Uh, something else I want to talk about last week. I mentioned the, the new bad Ben film, uh, Bad Ben the Mandela Effect, I think that's what it was called. Well, I went ahead and watched it because <laughs> I could not resist. I have to say I liked it. It's it's super silly and it's it's goofy and it, it's it's just it's just Nigel Bach doing his thing, and the premise is actually really <laughs> interesting. So the the basic premise is. In parallel universes, the same thing is happening to Nigel 
and he kind of remembers each Nigel remembers a little bit about the other and they're all kind of linked together through like deja vu, I guess. It's re- That's like the best way I can explain it. So it kind of like, it's an experiment of what happened if Nigel went to the house and instead of, of this mythical creature, it was a haunted doll. Or what if Nigel went to the house and it was a scary clown? What if Nigel went to the house and it was something else? And that's kind of what it was. So it, it was broken up into segments like that. And each time was a different scenario. And as corny and cheesy as it sounds, it actually worked. I really like these movies. Uh, I, I like them. I'm a sucker for these things. I don't know why. Yes, the the one with the the second one, Steelmanville Road, the, the acting was atrocious from a couple people. I, I admit that. The third one, some more bad acting. But these are just so I don't know what it is about these films. I I just like them and they are they appeal to me. I don't know why. But if you haven't seen the Bad Ben uh saga now, I guess it's saga now, you should probably check them out. They're on Amazon Prime. Uh, if you don't have Amazon Prime, you should probably get it because there's a lot of good stuff on there. A lot of streaming content. They're adding a lot of new movies every week. Uh, this week, you know, I don't know if they added a whole lot. I, I kind of took a took a gander. I didn't see a whole lot there. I'm looking right now. So newly added was uh, Enigma from 1988. That's in my queue. Cannibal Diner. Don't know what that is. Uh, Insane from 2014. Bridge to Nowhere. I've heard of this movie. Never seen it, but I heard it was good, though. The Last Man on Earth starring Vincent Price. That's supposed to be really good. The Haunting of Molly Hartley uh, just came out. I actually never saw that, so I'm going to put that in my watch list. Uh, Der Bunker. This was supposed to be pretty interesting. I know it got a lot of hype on some of the blogs. Um, so I might put that in my watch list. I don't know. It seems a little weird. Haunting of Whaley House. I've actually saw this movie uh, a few years ago. I actually like this one. And I might do a review uh, for Scream Stream. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that one. Uh, so, yeah, check out uh, Amazon Prime. There's a lot of good stuff on there. Yes, there's there are some pretty bad films. But they had a lot of interesting things. So, yeah, go ahead and check them out. So I actually started watching a new release on here called Dark The Dark Tapes, which is a found footage film. It looked pretty interesting. It has a 3 out of 5, and it's got a 5.0 on IMDb. So I'm watching that. That I'm probably going to review next week because uh, it, it looks really good. And, you know, I'm kind of running low here on recommendations. If you have a recommendation for me that you, or of a film that you want me to review – uh, let me know on the fan on. Let me know on the Facebook page. I hate using the term fan page. It just it's weird. Uh, on the Facebook page, let me know if there's something you want me to review, or hit me up on Twitter at scream underscore stream. Uh, on Netflix, I haven't seen anything new added. Uh, I looked through with like the last two weeks of. Uh, releases and I haven't seen any any new horror on Netflix, which is is kind of sad. So uh, on Shutter, there's a bunch of Japanese horror films added. Uh, well, there's there's a few old films. First was Mark of the Devil. Then we have Shinjuku Triad Society, females. Female Prisoner Scorpion. It's like a whole series of these films. Uh, and that's all that's new on Shudder. I don't know if any of these movies are good or not because I don't have a Shudder streaming anymore. Um, I don't know. I, I still haven't decided whether I'm going to get that back or not. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for, for streaming. That was really kind of... I didn't actually prepare the new streaming. I just kind of went through there. But I didn't see a whole lot, especially on Netflix. I saw 
nothing really on Netflix. And there's only a few things on Shutter, So not a whole lot in release streaming releases, at least this week. Um, but yeah, next week I'm going to do the dark tapes. because I don't know what else to review. Uh, and then the week after I really want to watch Winchester and then also the strangers is out. And I saw the first one, the second one I want to see, and I, I want my wife to watch it, but she's got to watch the first one. Uh, so maybe this coming weekend we'll, we'll do the strangers and the strangers too. Um, maybe I'll review those. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, if you want to support the show, remember I now have that storefront over at T public. Uh, and if you want the link to that, I'll post it on the Facebook page. I'll also post it on Twitter, but it is, uh, T public T E E P U B L I C dot com slash stores slash scream dash stream. I hate that URL, but that's what I got. Uh, so check out the storefront there. I, uh, like I said, I curated some horror t-shirts from independent artists. And then I'm also going to have two of my own designs up there, buy some t-shirts and I get a tiny commission off those and it helps out the show. Or you can head over to patreon.com slash scream stream. Uh, and sign up for the monthly or sign up for a dollar a month and you get some extra stuff. Uh, I have been slacking on posting the original runs over there uh, and also the new episodes. And I apologize. I'm going to get caught up this week. Uh, so if, if you are a patron, I know there's one of you, <laughs> you are a patron and you listen to the podcast through your secret RSS link. I promise I'm going to get that updated this week. I have slacked. I do apologize. And if you don't want to do the Patreon thing, head over to screenpod.com where you can listen to the show right there on the website. Or I have buttons for iTunes, Pocket Cast, Stitcher, and Spotify. And you can listen there. You can also find links to all of my social profiles and follow me in all those places, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. And then finally, music used for ScreamStream was created by Kevin McLeod over at Incompetech. Dot com. Until next week, I'm James Gassing. If it was real, the cameraman would be dead too. Good night. <laughs>